let's uh, go back here to the region. An Israeli was seriously wounded, injured this afternoon in a stabbing attack near the uh, Kav, uh, the Kav of uh, um, the cave, I'm sorry, of uh, patriarchs in uh, Hebron, which has become a major center in more than two months long wave of terror. Paramedics uh, treated an approximately 40-year-old man with wounds to his upper body and transported him to a hospital in Jerusalem for a treatment. Security forces opened fire on the terrorist. His condition was not immediately clear. And uh, more controversy surrounding last July's arson attack on the the Wapshe family home, which killed both parents and an 18-month-old toddler. Now the Palestinian Authority is accusing an Israeli hospital of sending it a bill for the family's medical treatment. I-24 News correspondent Mohamed Al Qasim went to investigate. The Palestinian Authority Health Ministry says it received medical bills from an Israeli hospital totaling $123,000 covering the treatment of five-year-old Ahmed Dawabshe and his late mother, Riham. Both Dawabshe parents and their 18-month-old son were killed in a suspected arson attack on their home in the West Bank village of Duma this past July. Ahmed sustained burns on 90% of his body. However, the hospital, Tal HaShomer, sent I-24 News a statement saying that it emailed the bills at the request of the Palestinian Authority. Dr. Midhat Taha, medical coordinator for President Mahmoud Abbas's office, said he visits Ahmed at the hospital on a weekly basis and that President Abbas is following the boy's treatment closely. The hospital requires payment of all patients and the operation requires a lot of money. So the hospital sent the email when it didn't see anyone stepping forward to pay for Ahmed, whether Israel or anyone else. So the logical party to send the bills to was the Palestinian Authority. Dr. Taha said, that if the Israeli government was genuinely interested in paying for Ahmed's medical bills, then it would have made this clear to the hospital. For its part, the head of the Israeli Civil Administration's office in the West Bank, Yoav Mordechai, told I-24 News that Israel would be paying for all medical expenses related to the Dawabshe family. Hossein Dawabshe, Ahmed's grandfather, says that the family does not intend to move Ahmed to another hospital and believes that it is in Ahmed's best interest to be here. The hospital shows great interest in Ahmed. They follow his treatment very closely, and whatever I ask for them for Ahmed, they do. Several Jewish terror suspects were reportedly arrested just last week in connection with the arson attack, although details of the investigation remain under gag order. And with me uh, right now here in the studio is Mohamed Al Qasim, I24 News correspondent and analyst. Good evening, thank you very Good much evening, for joining Jay. me. So, what is the misunderstanding exactly? Well, basically, it looks like the Palestinian Authority uh, uh, at some point, the uh, Ministry of Health, asked the hospital Tal Hashomer to send it, uh, to send it some sort of uh, um, what's happening with the uh, with Ahmed and his mother. So, when they received an email and they started to receive more and more invoices. Uh, of the or bills from the hospital, they assumed that the hospital is Sending basically them. asking them to pay uh, for the uh, treatment of Ahmed as well as his late mother. Now, the the authority and the uh, Ministry of Health started to talk to uh, to the hospital in terms of how to pay, and basically Israel would cut from taxes would cut these payments. Now, uh, you know, the Israeli government and uh, Mordechai, as we reported, which I spoke, to, you know, I spoke to his office today, they said, no, we promised to pay for it and we will pay for it. So it looks like the hospital sent the bills just out of, uh, you, know, say, you know, to clarify the, you know, the expenses and what they have charged uh, the family. The authority took it as this is a payment maybe uh, required uh, to pay the hospital. And the Israeli government didn't really contact the authority. So now we probably, with this report, have put all the three parties uh, in, you know, on one page. You know, it's amazing what you did, because uh, if uh, this story will continue, would have continued maybe uh, going on, maybe the Palestinian Authority, it was, it was very con comfortable for it to say, well, you know what, um, yes, Israel is asking us to pay this. Well, it would have been snowballed into something bigger. Exactly. It's, again, the PR game that Israel and the Palestinians are playing one against the other. Pointing the finger at each other. And the hospital, in a way, got caught in the middle. They were so embarrassed. They didn't know. Again, I spoke to them today, and they didn't know what to say. They said, we sent the authority what they asked us for. They asked for bills. We sent it to them. By no means we wanted to uh, ask them to pay for it. Um, I think the hospital is expected. 
to uh, you know for the, the you know for the Israeli government to pay for it. But on the same uh, you know on the same you know talking to the Israeli government, they should have contacted the hospital and said, listen, don't send anything to the uh, authority. It's our responsibility. Well, thank God that uh, Pauli Mordechai uh, is uh, talking on behalf of uh, the government instead of the government talking. Well, it looks like it's being taken care of right now. Yes. Uh, Hamad Al-Qasim, thank you very much for Pleasure. your report. Thank you.